Hey guys, Frost here. Welcome back to the first episode of a new series called One Hour with Frost. Now, um, what this episode consists in, or what this series consists of, is going to a specific grind spot and spending one hour there in order to see the max potential gold per hour. And uh, during this hour, I'm going to talk about tips and tricks on how to play the mage or whatever class we're playing, uh, tips and tricks on how to improve the quality of the grind and so on. Today's pick, it's going to be DM East, uh, Lashers plus Demons, I'm not talking about the jump runs, because lately this dungeon yielded me consistently 100 gold plus per hour. For the past 13 hours that I've done this dungeon, I only had numbers between 100 and 131 gold. This is without getting any rare drops. I got two Traveler's Backpacks in this time, but even with the Traveler's Backpacks, the gold was above 100 gold per hour. Uh, I think we're gonna get in this one, I'm filming the intro before we finish the hour, I think we're gonna get a rare item, but that doesn't count to the final goal per hour. Now, uh, please make sure to check the timestamps in the description below to see all the pools, uh, and um, keep in mind that uh, during the course of the video I'm gonna explain where all the gold comes from, and it might be even more on your server. Now Farlina is quite a populated server, the prices of herbs are quite high, but I think on some servers might be higher than mine because I talk all the day with uh, players from my um, stream uh, and um, they report prices to me. So I think um, the quality of this grind right now will go even higher. One of the other reasons why I'm doing this series is because a lot of people come in my stream and say that they level the new mage and they really struggle with the AoE. So during this video I'm going to talk about AoE techniques, how to do the pulls, um, how to stay safe all the time and so on. So uh, I guess this is it guys, um, please make sure to check the timestamps in the description down below for every pull for uh, the final goal per hour and um, let me know what you think in the comments down below after you watch it. So let's just get into it. So the first thing when coming here I would recommend having big bags. So if you don't have like Onyxia bags, backpacks like me, maybe you can get like traveler's backpacks or if you have room cloth backpacks make sure you leave everything that is not necessary in the bank. Having 10 potions with you it's quite important, uh, especially for the demon pool. And uh, herbalism it's quite a requirement to be able to make over 100 gold per hour in this dungeon. And well depending to your market server value on herbs. Although on Farlina they're not even that high as other servers and I still managed to make consistent 100 plus gold per hour for the past 9 or 10 hours. So uh, you jump down, it's just like we showed it on the guide. Uh, you pull, like, there are many ways. All the way make sure to pick the two Dreamfell nodes and the two Grom's Blood nodes. There's one here, one here. I choose to pick it from here before the pull. Now there are different ways of pulling the, the lashers. I'm gonna start the timer here. This is gonna be five runs, exactly one hour. Uh, hopefully we do it properly. So I do the first pull as three pack. Pull that one with a wand and I start walking slowly towards the one there until they get in range of counter spell. I body pull this pack here. I ice block and then I wait for them to gather around me in a circle. Uh, I think you don't have to wait the whole cooldown, you just jump out and then you kill them. You do a uh, flame strike. The spec is the same like the BRD spec, um, I'm gonna put it in the description and on the screen as well. Uh, they die quite easy. Um, this this spec, it's viable for mages, this grind, but also Shadow uh, Holy Priest with Holy Nova can do it, Warlocks to a certain degree can do it and so on. Now, as you can see, the back tends to fill quite uh, quickly. I already killed the first three packs and we have two or three lines filled with herbs and greys and so on. The lashers can drop epics. My best drop from here is a freezing band, but I also got like things like destiny, life stones uh, and a variety of other epics that I don't remember. I got like five epics in total from lashers. Of course, the serrated petals, the lasher root and the tourney wines. Um, once you Make sure you pick the two herbs, Dreamfoil and Grom's Blood, you move on. Make sure you pay attention on uh, patrols. The other two nodes are here. Sometimes they're harder to pick. I would never skip a Dreamfoil node and I'm gonna show you probably during the this hour how to pick all the nodes. 
Some of them might be close to a mob or so on. I come to this pack and I clear it solo. It just died fast and uh, some people choose to pull like four packs at a time. That opens opportunities to wipe and we're not here to wipe because we're already doing a 12 minute run each uh, run. Once I come here to this pack, I check exactly there in front of this slasher if there's a book spawn. Uh, it's not right there right now. And then I'm going to pick the second Dreamfall node. As soon as this pack goes away, I think I have to wait for him to come back because turning right here. And there we go. Dreamfall right now goes for about 90 silver a pop on my server, which means it's about um, 18 gold for a stack. Uh, Grum's Blood, uh, it's still low in price, like 25 silver a pop, but I have this feeling that they will go up in price uh, soon. Now I'm gonna wait for that pack to go back and I'm also following that one, that one it's all the way there. So I'm pulling this one, I'm going here, I'm taking a counter spell pull, I'm blinking over the pod in case we get another mini pack and I'm waiting for them Somewhere in the middle. I'm gonna take a bit of damage here. They broke my shield, but that's okay. And I'm doing two packs here. They die quite easy. As a priest, I'm not sure exactly how you would do this. Um, but there we go. Now, uh, the reason why I'm making those uh, one hour long videos is because lately more and more people came into my chat and they leveled new mages and somehow they struggle with uh, doing something right with the mage. Either if it's Zulfarak, either if it's DME. So I decided to make a full hour of grind, show you exactly the pulls, uh, tell you tips and tricks about the mage and how to, to play it. And I think uh, most people make like minor mistakes, such as uh, they don't have minor speed and boots. And especially when you're playing with a spec that focused on Cone of Cold Kiting, you must have minor speed and boots. It's like a must. Now, you see that pack is there. I'm going to pull this one. Wand, uh, shield up. Don't have full mana, as you can see, but it's not necessarily required. I can do lashers in about five minutes, all of them. So I come here and um, add a counter spell or fire blast one of them. I let them stack, and once they're stacked, I jump away and um, just cast a flame strike, which is with um, ignite, of course, and two two arcane explosion should do the trick. There we go. We got the ghost mushroom. Ghost mushroom goes for about one gold twenty right now, and I have a feeling it's gonna go like all of the herbs that you get here from drops. They're gonna go higher in price with the release of Blackwing Lair. And we finished exactly in five minutes the lashers. Now we have a uh, seven minutes left to kill the demons. I keep to I tend to organize my herbs in terms of value here. Uh, those are the greys, uh, and here are the valuable herbs. We could have gotten more. And now, once you walk here, there should be a patrol, an invisible demon. There we go, the Shadow Stalker. He applies a slow. This is not very good. Um, usually, you don't get it from the first time, but that's okay. I think we can kill it even with the slow. Um, and a shield, throw him down, blink away, and probably finish him up here. Bit too much mana. Now, whenever you come here, if you clear fast, you can look for ghost mushrooms. Uh, there can be a ghost mushroom here. There can be one at the end of the room on the left side or on the right side. Like each corner, left corner and right corner or here. Also, one can be on the opposite corner of this one. So, here a right and another right. That's trickier to pick. There can be a ghost mushroom next to the boss up there. So, if you do runs that are about 10 minutes, you can go up and pick the ghost mushroom. The more ghost mushrooms you get per um, run, the more gold you'll make. 
Uh, sometimes there's a, an invisible spawn here, like the one we just killed. So make sure you check before he's in stealth. But you can see him from about 10 yards. Don't worry. Always walk over this pod. If um, it spawns ads, you want to, to kill them. Or if you feel comfortable pulling them. I feel comfortable in pulling them. Um, with the big pack, uh, that's no problem. Uh, two bars are about 10 silver a pop. You can get like two stacks if you focus on open pods. Whenever they come here, there's a potential chest right there. Uh, not right now. Sometimes it's unlocked, sometimes it's locked. And also there's a potential chest right there be behind that hell card color. So I uh, patrol around the boss. You can put like a skull on him so you can see him. Now, here is a trick. When you walk towards this pod, try to s hug the right side because it can spawn like whiplashers. And whiplashers can aggro those pods. Those are uh, imps, and then you can fuck up your pull. This is the time we didn't have it. Now, you want to pick those Tordling sinks, seeds because we're going to use it in the next pull. So the next pull is basically something like that. You you, you target the right, far right um, mob. You do a wand, and you see, never aggro the boss here. You come here, and you wait for a second. There we go, that's it. Then you bling towards this path, you counterspell that one, you drop a poggling on the ground, you wait one a second, and then you ice block. Now ice block duration is 10 seconds, but so is the poggling's duration, 10 seconds before he grows and aggros the mobs. There we go, he aggroed the mobs, I got outside of this, now I'm waiting for 4 seconds on my nova, pop flame strike on the ground, I do an instant cone of cold, I back pedal, and then I start running in a circle. Now I'm gonna show you, if you come here, there's a potential poggling uh, whiplasher spawn. So what I'm doing here, I'm gonna let him attack me and include them into the pack. They destroyed my... Uh, they destroyed my shield, but now look at what I'm doing. This is the easy way to do it, the most secure save. You run in a circle, you keep them in the middle, and once you have your cone of gold, you... Okay, see, now if this happens, of course, um, that was uh, the trickster can stun you. One resisted my uh, cone of cold, and sometimes that can happen, you know. So if that happens, you just use your frost nova. Hope that was uh, quite clear. Normally they shouldn't resist like your novas that often. And there we go, it resisted. This is more the safe method, you know? You just kite them in a core, uh, in a circle, and when they resist... Now, you wanna kite them on that flame strike because they still do damage. So again, let's uh, show the method. Jump. Or, if you, if you cannot jump, it's okay to kite them, and just uh, when they're about to lose their Nova, they're a cone of cold, you just backpedal and do it. See? You don't have to jump, but I would recommend learning how to jump. Because uh, that practice is good. So we have 10 minutes right now. I could go for another ghost mushroom, but I think uh, we proved our point and um, I didn't even use my mana gem here. But I could have evocated, I could have used my mana gem. My point is that it's doable even with lesser gear. So always uh, keep that in mind. Now, uh, the first thing we got here, it's a pair of blue. They keep dropping three types of blues from here. Uh, so, uh, I'm gonna put them here. So, this is not like a rare drop, it's quite popular. Now, most of the gold from this pool comes from raw silver. Look at that, 36 silver, 18 silver, uh, rune cloths, rune cloths, and uh, hopefully fell cloths. Hellclots are not that expensive on my server, demonic runes, they're about uh, 1.2 gold, but if the Felclot goes for a higher price on your server, you can make a lot of money here. Sometimes you get like even 8 uh, and so on. Now we still have like 11 minutes, I'm gone. You could kill Hydra spawn if you want. I don't usually kill them, I look for those spots if they have like uh, nothing inside. Oh, there we go. There's a Weep Lasher pack. I still have like 30 seconds. Let's do it. 
Now what I'm doing, uh, as you can see, I'm in a party with my uh, with my mage, with my rogue. I ask a guildmate to invite me in the same group, and then uh, he gives me leader. So now if I log on my rogue, uh, it's gonna take two minutes for the game to pass lead to me, and then I can start my second run. And there we go. Always drink before that and log out. This run was not uh, the greatest. Uh, we did get um, a couple of rare herbs, such as Swift Thistle, Ghost Mushroom, and um, of course the Grom's Blood and the Dream Foil. So, second run. Um, start a new timer here. You wait for this pack to go away so you don't aggro. You can jump without it if you hurry up. But uh, why risk it? So the reason why I'm doing quite often this grind right now is because for the past 9 hours I've done uh, over 100 gold for almost... No, for all of them. Uh, first run was about 118. I was a uh, skeptic, then I did another one was 108, then I did another one was 131. And um, then I did like a couple of more runs. All of them was... Two of them were exactly 100 gold uh, sharp. And... Uh, that's without any rare drops. It's just from selling the herbs, um, grays from the lashers, um, raw silver from the demons. It's about 10g per five run. Uh, fell cloths, uh, lock boxes, um, and the, of course the most important thing: the herbs that you sell in the auction house. And I think the herbs that you get here, you should save them for the Blackwing Lair release because they might go even higher in price. But I calculated this with the current prices. This uh, three-pack uh, pool might look scary, but if you're a mage, uh, you don't have nothing to worry about. Um, you can cold snap if, in case uh, you fail. You can uh, burst them down Dark King Explosion from a distance, and uh, there you go. Normally, in some of the runs, this is the nature of RNG here. In some of the runs, you get like so many greens and... Uh, Look, Winter's Bite. Winter's Bite is another herb. I'm going to put them in the first row so you can see at the end um, exactly how much uh, we make from the plants. We're going to go vendor everything at the end. Winter's Bite right now it's about 1.5 gold on our server. And it's going to go higher with the, the release of Blackwing Lair because they're using the Frost Power Elixir. And a lot of mages want to parse and want to clear a Blackwing Lair in uh, under an hour if, they're, if that's possible and so on. Now sometimes there's a Dream Foil back there. But this time we had it here. I really hope we get uh, in a run a dream field that is next to this that lash, so I can show you how to pick it. Picking the Grom's blood, I really love when they have like three, both uh, dream foils and um, Buddy pulling this uh, pack and I'm gonna show you the book spawns again. Uh, maybe you can check them. So one of them should be right there in front of the Lasher and I think I forgot the last time to show you the other one but I'm gonna show you now. Probably you already know it. In terms of gear, I have very good gear for this but it can be done um, with less gear and even the demons can be pulled without using a twirling. So um, I'm gonna try to do it in this hour, even with taking up some pieces of gear, so I can show you that it's working. Also, I'm gonna try to do a demon pull even without the poggling, so... You know how to do it. And there's another dream foil. Right about... There. Those are easy, easily pickable without... Um, too much trouble. Now, you always wanna... Open those warp pods if they do not have a, a trap. Because uh, tuber surprises will sell for a lot in Blackwing Lair. Right now I'm selling for 5G a stack, cooked ones. Now yet again we wait for the patrol to go away. And then we can pull um, this back here. I'm going to start now and I'm going to... Blink quickly because that one comes faster. Waiting them here. 
in case you aggro the walking patrols, I'm gonna show you a reset spot. Okay, now our health looks uh, bad, 1.7, 2.8k mana. But uh, if I stay a bit away and I let them take the ignite damage, they just die easy. And there we go, we wasted all of our mana. I'm spamming the loot button. You might want to use an add-on like Leatrix Plus. Leatrix Plus has a fast auto loot um, option which skips the loot animation so you can loot the mobs faster without losing too much time. Some of the items you can destroy if your bags get filled are like the Bruiseweed, uh, Earthroot, Mage Royale, uh, Peace Boom and um, so on. Don't destroy like the Heart of the Wild. They, sell, they, they vendor for like 40 silver a stack and you get like a lot of stacks in uh, the time you're here. Uh, so the pack is right here. We wait for it to go away. We pick the um, Dreamfall. Just don't get too close. Sometimes those death lashes are level 58 and uh, you might aggro. Just here. Also the second book spawn is right under that root. It wasn't there right now, but probably during this hour that we're doing here, we're going to manage to find one. I pull that pack with the wand, I come here, I let them come, and while I'm here, I counterspell the late last mob from there. So I stay in the middle, I prefer both of them to attack me at the same time, and once they're in a tight group, we gonna just uh, cross Nova. Very good to keep the loot window up here. So you guys can see what I'm getting. A Grom's Blood. Grom's Blood and Dreamfell can drop from the mobs. And of course the Ghost Mushrooms, uh, the Winter Spite, uh, Fade Leaf, um, Swift Thistle, um, Ghoul Torn. And uh, I think that's about it. Maybe there's some other valuable herb, herbs. Oh yeah, um, Fire Bloom, which I would recommend saving them for uh, Blackwing Lair. Purple Lotus as well, I would recommend saving them as well. And so this run, see, the last run we had like a 5 minute Lasher run, this time we had like a 7 minutes, so I don't know why it took so much. Sometimes it takes more, I guess. But uh, overall the 12 minutes should be on the mark, you should do this one as a mage. As a priest, however, I don't think you can do the demons, but a priest would take probably about 12 minutes to kill all the lashers. There's another ghost mushroom here, sweet. And uh, always look for the patrol, he should be around here. Now if the patrol is already there, I walk over this and if there's a pack of whiplasher, I pull them. I get them to that demon, I pull the demon here. And why not AoE them down, you know, so you can uh, save some time here. Mm, that's not very good. Resist. It's not very good, but I'm gonna kill him with a Frostbolt. And... Voila. Nice if you get like slowed at the beginning, you have time to get rid of the cooldown. Here we have already like two packs of Heart of the Wild. Strangle Kelp is another herb that sells. So first row and maybe a bit of the second. Uh, Sungrass is another one that sells. So I'm gonna keep them there so you can see them. Uh, price the herbs that will be valuable on your server. And uh, now this uh, grind it's 100 gold plus per hour on Fat Lina. But on other server it might be even more. So you gotta keep an eye out on the prices all the time. So we put a mark on the boss so we can always see him. Doesn't have a big aggro range so you should be fine. We look at the chest here, there's no chest here. And if he goes that way, you can jump here, 
if he goes this way you go all the way around but always come next to this uh, pod because it might spawn lashers it did not though ready for the pull I would like to get full mana before pulling uh, so this time I'm gonna do it without a pog link to show you the pull in case you don't have one but you should always have like you loot them from uh, the warp pods it's not a big deal but uh, still you pull and the same trick you come here you wait for a second until they get close quite close I would say but not hitting you now when you're here you blink of course you target one mob from there and ice block here now the moment you leave the ice block it's when exactly all of them are next to you you see I lost a lot of HP but that's fixable that's okay we do the flame strike one of cold back paddle go away pop a new shield and uh, I have 1.2k HP it would be nice to pop a shield here we got a pack of lashers too this is not very good um, I think I'm going to get them stored it and do this you're gonna wait for four seconds on my Nova and do the same flame strike cone of gold combo walk back uh, you can even Nova them and bandage if you want I would prefer to stay uh, right now a bit away we have the cooldowns we have the mana we jump in a circle uh, like I said if you cannot do the jump cone of gold you can uh, just uh, back pedal wait for them and um, I would recommend practicing this because this will be good for uh, probably Zulg Zulgarub when it comes to kill the crocs and the more you practice it the better it becomes so how I'm doing it I'm holding the right mouse button uh, down and um, I just jump and do it you will find a distance uh, let's finish them up because this run it's almost 12 minutes now and uh, I want to see exactly to be exactly one hour and there we go we didn't even use the mana gem second time and this time we didn't even use a poggling however I would recommend using a poggling you saw I lost like uh, half of my HP so so far we started getting like fell clots we got uh, a green item now the beauty of those green items a second fell clot is that you can uh, disenchant them you can send them to your alt and the disenchanting materials uh, go up in price now actually it's more than 100 uh, gold per hour if you take that into account the way I did the money per hour is by vendoring the greens and the grays and so on um, sometimes the greens are even sellable on the auction house I just prefer to disenchant them now while I'm here I'm still looking for something because we already have 12 minutes maybe we can get something from here it takes a bit longer when you talk and you like make a guide of this but uh, there we go we got another nine tubers that's um, about one gold another nine tubers is it's close to one gold it's 10 silver a pop here and uh, if you cook them you can make even more with them I'm going to go to reset and we go to the third run Here we are, the third run. I just run in. Uh, there's the patrol here, but I think if you're quick enough, you don't have to wait for it. Uh, and just jump and there we go. Uh, make sure you check if you didn't have aggro or something. Uh, I'm gonna start a new timer here. You wanna make sure that every run is 12 minutes um, so we can do the exact math. So there's a Grom's plot there, which I kind of wanna pick so. We make our point sometimes i skip them if they're uh, you always pick it once the mobs move away from here also there's uh, something there i think there's a dream foil there yes we might want to take that too a pack of whiplashers that's fine huh? it interrupt me but that's okay because we can kill them here extra mobs in the dungeon as long as it's still 12 minutes no big deal normally on a 
five runs, you should be getting around uh, one stack of Dream Foil and one of Grum's Blood. Plus minus, sometimes they're like 23 Dream Foil, sometimes you have like 19. Uh, but uh, you always get consistent, one stack, one stack. Come back here, and we do the same pull. And... Pum, 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 pum. There's a pot there sometimes, uh, so be careful on that. Um, now, you see, I'm a bit far away from the pack, but I'm doing a jump cone of gold. Exactly after the... Exactly after the flame strike lands, I press the jump button and uh, actually it's slightly 0.1 seconds before the flame strike lands, I press space, I jump and I do a cone of cold. Increases the range a bit of the cone of cold. And uh, you're able to hit uh, most of the mobs. If you're so far away as, as I was and you do it from the ground, um, it won't hit all mobs. It's not a big deal, you don't have to hit them all, but well, it die easier like that, so not a big problem. I'm gonna. Ooh, one was not picked. Now I have 2k mana, but I'm confident that 2k mana, even less, like 1.9k mana, it's more than enough to kill this pack. So I'm just gonna do it so we can save some time. Now, in case you aggro something or you pick that flower there with a the dash, that lash. If there's a dream foil there when the, where the death lash is, what you do, you go in, you frost nova the death lash, you pick the flower. After you pick the flower, you immediately rank one cone of cold and slow him down. And you run here, behind this one. You jump on this pillar here, and this is the reset spot. Watch the death lash until he runs back, and then you can jump down and kill the, the whiplashers. So this here, it's a reset spot. Uh, and probably next run or uh, we might be able um, to show that exactly how to do it. I'm looking for the book here. There's no book. Also, holy moly, don't aggro those guys. If you aggro them, you jump on that pillar. Make sure they're not too close to you. Dream foil and Grom's blood. The dream foil it's right there. And the Grom's blood it's somewhere around there. And there we go, we should walk in exactly when that pack retreats, because these ones will go all the way, but that pack patrols only until this tree. So this is the point where we pull this pack, and then pull this other pack, we blink here. This is where the book should be, the second book spawn. You see, we spawned another lash. Okay, this is going to take a bit of damage here. Ah. Don't turn the, your back to them, they do like a backstab ability which does shadow damage, that's why I'm using like uh, Dampen Magic, or if you're a priest you can use like Shadow Protection Aura, um, Shadow Protection uh, buff, because uh, it's uh, a backstab which is shadow damage. Don't turn your back to them and you should be fine. Living Essences, um, they don't really sell on my server, I have like a hundred on my alt, I don't know exactly when they will ever sell, probably during AQ patch when you use them to craft the uh, nature resistance gear uh, however uh, not by much this is gonna be a viable grind for a long period of time and each time when a new content is going to be released the price of herbs will go up and down and uh, it will become viable this is actually one of the reason why i'm doing this uh, one hour with frost here because this became so so good uh, it's actually kind of crazy like I said, nine, 9 hours and I've done only between 100 and 130 gold without getting rare drops. I got a couple of Traveler's Backpacks, like 2 or 3, but even when I got Traveler's Backpacks, the gold per hour is 120 to 130. Now, I don't have enough mana to pull them, these guys, with the other ones, so I'm just gonna kill them quickly. It's no big deal. The abilities. I wanna snatch quickly this one if I have time. Doesn't look like. Yeah, I think we're gonna snatch it after. 
three buff, uh, get the shield up and drink some water. Hopefully you guys, uh, if you have a mage or you plan to level a mage, you can learn something from this. I'm trying to make it easy as possible because I know for a fact whenever someone has a new mage and they go for the first time doing like, I don't know, the lashers are not hard, but the demons here, when they do it for the first time, they wipe and wipe. I have people on my chat coming and saying that uh, Frost, I don't know about the demons, but I freaking die all the time. Like it's 50-50% if they survive or die. And that's not the case. You can die. Like there's some unexpected resists happening two or three times in a row. It happened to me last night and you just cannot fix it anymore. The, the thing is like never to panic. And even if two mobs resist or three or half of the pack sometimes because there's bugs into the floor, you can actually save it by blinking between them, by uh, doing a cold snap. So there's always something with a mage that you can do to fix a problem. So instead, instead of jumping and trying to reset that pool, you can actually try to fix it. And the more times you try to fix it, the more experience you gain with the mage, the more experience you gain with the mage, the more successful pools you'll have in the future. Uh, another thing that I'm chasing right now is something called the Blade of Eternal Darkness. I'm going to do a Princess Run guide soon. Um, because I, wanted, I want to get that Blade of Eternal Darkness because um, if you do large packs of mobs, like it gets you gets you infinite mana back so you could come here and do like uh four packs four packs pull and you would have infinite mana without wasting time therefore doing the lashers in about instead of six five to seven minutes you can do them in probably four now sometimes those mobs tend to drop like recipes i got uh, yesterday the recipe for um transmute i think it was earth to life but you can get undead to water which is about 500 to 1000 gold in different servers you can get greater arcane elixirs from the demons and a variety of uh, epics so far i got like five epics here one from the demon oh shit okay let's pull the imps as well we wanna okay now we can finish him up Two, two mobs with one stone as well. One pack and uh, another one. And finish him up with the one. Hopefully he doesn't slow me here. Because uh don't like that. I'm a bit sad that we didn't find like... Um, so far... Um, a chest. Sometimes you find them every run. Let's see if we have one on the other side on the imps and maybe I'll show you how to kill the imps. We must get one. Okay, the boss goes this way. So when he goes this way, you blink here, you go here. You have a ghost mushroom there, but before all the time come and walk over this pod so closer to the wall in case like poggling spawn you don't aggro them so you walk here oh we can loot this there's no chest again supposed to be here this was our third run but um we still have two runs so we'll probably get now i'm gonna grab that ghost mushroom too although i'm wasting time here uh, talking too much and doing too late this might be longer than 12 minutes run but but okay. Always try to pick the ghost mushrooms. Sometimes there's one, there's one exactly up here, so you might want to grab that too. If you go in the other room, you can find more. But just make sure you keep the the runs at 12 minutes. That's what in, what's in, it's important, so you can make the gold per hour. Each run takes 12 minutes. You do five runs, and the the value of uh, what I said, 100 gold plus, is per five runs. Although it doesn't look so bright so far, even in, when my bag didn't look that great, uh, we still made 100 gold, so I'm confident in this. Uh, make sure to scan uh, the herb prices on your server. Don't pull this one here. He's the one that gets you slowed. So this time we're gonna use the Poggling, because it's more safe. So basically, you drop it, you wait half a second to a second, depends how much time you have, and... Um, 
exactly in 10 seconds he will grow he will aggro the pack and that's your window of opportunity to jump away a uh, duo okay now we can do a cold snap here like i didn't really have to use my cold snap but why the hell not you know like I could have uh, waited for a second for the mob to hit me, then blink between the pack and then do a con of cold. Okay. And there we go. This is the beauty of this one. If uh, the con of cold resists, you have a free for uh, the take and the... The... Um, Frost Nova. And that was my mistake there, because I forgot actually to apply it. I don't like to go counterclockwise though. So... Oh shit, you see? That I was too far away from the pack, but I fucked up like really badly and I can still save it. That's the beauty of it. You know? And look, I get mana back from each uh, Master of Elements. From the spec. Now, how many times you would have been dead if you if you have done the mistakes I've done? See the power of this uh, circle kite. It takes longer that we. Let's let's just uh, next next time next pool we show how to kill them fast so you can guarantee that you make them under twelve minutes the runs. And uh, let's just finish this guy up with. Um, we we haven't used our mana gem. Not even a single time so far. This is the first the initial management we had when we started. Um, I have though good gear, so yeah. That's it. Um, we're gonna check for the poglings. Maybe we get more um, tubers. And there we go. This one is lootable. Maybe that one is lootable too. There we go, 10 of them. This one doesn't have anything. This is our fourth run. I'm gonna rush before the mob here catches me up. Get to the edge, jump and uh, blink down. I'm gonna try to open this fog so it doesn't interfere with my pulling. There's a dreamfall there. This is one of the potential spawn, spawn points for Dreamfoil, so I'm gonna go grab it first. So I don't have to come back later. So far we have... Um, 13 Dreamfoils and we have uh, 3 more potential uh, ones for it. 4 Ghost Mushroom, which is good. Usually you get like more Winter Spite, which is the expensive one here. Also the Fade Leaf, we haven't got one yet, but uh, we might get these pools. Straight to the pool. Uh, let's start a timer. I just want to prove that it's possible to do it in um, 12 minutes, even when you're filming and you're talking. Now, the, the fun f part about this grind compared to every other grind is that you get gold from so many possible sources. Like I said, uh, you can get gold from uh, raw gold, from the demons, you sell the rune cloths, you get the like lock boxes, you get like greens, grays, um, uh, blues, and even higher chances than other grinds uh, get epics because every run you kill about 100 plus mobs. Every 12 minutes you kill about 100 plus mobs, that's including the demons, uh, all the lashers in a dungeon. And the more runs you do, the more opportunities you have to actually get an epic drop. Oh, there we go, we start getting greens again. Uh, normally, some runs you'll have like, this is interesting, some hours, I'm talking about 5 runs, you'll have like 2 rows of greens and, and greys, and some runs you won't have. But some runs you won't have that many herbs and some runs you have so it's quite rng but that's the beauty of it because you never know what you get so it always uh it's always an interesting grind and um that keeps you to not get bored i guess of it also you have the chance to get like the forest comedium of dragon slaying um which can be on the book spawns we haven't seen a book spawn yet but usually i find them quite often 
Well, it doesn't have like epic books. Um, I didn't get one from uh, the Dusty Tomes yet. But I did get one from the first boss when I was doing my jump runs from Hydra Spawn. Now, on Farlina, they're only 220 gold. Uh, but on other, other servers, uh, I've heard that the epic book can go even to 700 or 1000 gold. So if you get that, it's the jackpot. Good luck with that. Blindweed, another herb that sells. I'm gonna put it somewhere up there uh, next to the other herbs. Blindweed went uh, significantly high in price. I think people are making limited invulnerability potions either for PvP or maybe for... Um, well, for Blackwing Lair, you know. You must carry a couple of uh, limited pots with you. You never know when you pull aggro or something. So. Okay, so this one, we wait for this one. This is the short uh, pack. You, they walk until there and until the tree. But this one goes all the way back, so we're ready to pull. No. We pull that one. We have less HP and mana, which is not recommended. Uh, if we wipe here, it's gonna be nasty. So, well, whatever. Leave a little. Luckily, I have a, a shield available. Almost. <laughs> Fade leaf, finally. Normally you get more herbs, like I said. Yeah, once you get five runs. Another Fade leaf. Two of them. That's 75 silver a pop, so... Uh, this pull alone was uh, one gold plus with a gold torn in the heart of the... Two golds, actually. Too old. Always. I destroy some of those Torlings. Although the Torlings are used in other pulls. You can use the Torlings in pulls in like BRD. If you struggle with that. They work in BRD too. The idea of them is that after 10 seconds they grow up. So you drop one. You wait for 0 0.5 to 1 second. And then uh, voila. They aggro the pack. You get safely out of the ice block. It does require a bit of practice, I would say. Hmm, thank you. God. I'm gonna go quickly grab that dream foil. We already have a full stack of Grom's Lord, and that's because, uh, look, I went too close here. I would have aggroed him. If this one was level 58, I would have aggroed him. Um, just gonna... It doesn't look right that bright so far, the fourth run, and we haven't seen that many greens and greys. That's... That doesn't usually happen, and we haven't used any health potions so far. We had some situations where we could have used health potions, but I'm just trying to point out that it's not really required. Uh, I would recommend though having them with you, especially when you do this for the first time. Oh yes. You're gonna use less and less. They're not expensive, they're like 5 silver a pop. The, you don't even have to get the big ones. If you're uncomfortable, get the big ones, they're like 60 silver a pop. Oh wow. This was uh, nasty. A lot of damage there. The petals, the serrated petals sell for... Um, 60 silver each. Vendors. So half of the gold from the 100 gold per hour that I'm showing here is from uh, vendoring stuff. And half of it is from... Uh, selling to the auction house. I'm going to bandage here because I don't have the patience to drink. That's why I want to do the Mara dagger grind. Uh, I just don't want to drink anymore. I've seen a, a clip of a mage uh, pulling multiple mobs, like big packs of mobs, and each time he gets like 3 procs per AoE spell. Not only that they do extra damage, but um, they keep your mana almost full. 
So you're able to burst down packs. So we have one here usually with on, so you, you gotta be careful. The other mob might come, so here we're gonna do like uh, I have ignite, so we're gonna push some fireballs, maybe some ignites. Nope. Shatter works uh, mysterious sometimes. Now I do have to drink. Oh, come on. But the other mob might come, see? There we go. They think here is a place where you won't aggro him. And that makes it easier for me to kill him because I can see him now. PK mana should be enough to burst him down. And there we go. We gonna do a frostbolt and then into a fireball, maybe it crits and uh, torch. And now another fireball and scorch with. Oh, there we go. Oh, shatter works in mysterious ways, like I said. these like they were supposed to drop way more often way more often no chest again interesting get all the dreamfall nodes i think we did so uh next run will be our last run and uh, we're gonna go vendor all Two stacks usually you get one of each sometimes more sometimes less with one i never got under 19 as far as i remember sometimes you get unlucky like you get one dream foil one 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 and uh you kind of hate that you want to get three 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 if possible <laughs> so the boss goes to that way so we're free to jump here now uh, um Chest can be here, right here, but right now there's a chest there, uh, unfortunately it's locked. You do find chests that are unlocked, so just keep on looking. Another tuber. Can I find other ghost mushroom? There's one, as you can see, there's one up here. Maybe I'll go and show how to pick it. Okay, let's just pull them. Oh, so, always wait for them a bit. I think this is just fine. When they aggro, blink. You pull the other pack as soon as you're in range. You drop the poggling. You do the ice block. And you wait for the whole 10 seconds. Now I'm gonna try a different uh, technique that I'm gonna show you. If you have better gear this, I would recommend because um, you know what I'm trying to do here is uh, try to burst them down, try to do huge damage. Okay, this one resisted, and a trickster—it's something that would um, would uh, if he cast a green thing, you should walk away from it. If he casts a green thing, he will. Turn you into... Oh no, this doesn't look good. Okay, we're gonna use for the first time our mana gem. Um, and we're gonna play safe now. Because you never know when you fuck up. Now, if you run in a circle and you have master of elements from the fire spec, what, what will happen is that whenever you crit with a cone of cold, you'll get like 166 mana back. And uh, while you walk in a circle and wait for the cooldown, your mana will continue to regenerate. Because you get the 5 second rule. And um, yeah. So it didn't work because we got the resist to show you the burst. But um, you can figure it out. And there we go. We got mana back from both. We got like six, 450 mana back. Bell cloth. 
Oh, a Libram of Focus. Holy shit, that's about 80 or 90 gold right now. I forgot to tell you about Librams. Two fell cloths. Wow, this run. You see, this is what I'm talking. So, a Libram of Focus. Maybe I'll sell it for 60, but uh, I have a couple of them listed on the auction house for uh, 80 to 90. I think they'll sell when uh, Black and Glare comes. And we got like three fell cloths this run. Which is pretty insane. Listen, um, wow, this is uh, actually more than 100 gold per hour. More than 100 and more. 100 and more gold per hour. I'm going to show you how to get the, um, the ghost mushroom upstairs. It takes a, a second plus, but if you're in a rush, if you kill them faster, you do have time to, to get it. So why not? Why not make an extra buck? It's 1 gold 20 for a ghost mushroom. Uh, let me show you. Formula Enchant Boots Greater Stamina. Oh, so. uh, the mushrooms sell also, I don't recommend destroying them, it's 20 silver a stack. And these other ones are 40 silver a stack. You get a lot of them. Yeah, you get a lot of them. Uh, let's go for that Ghost Mushroom, even if it will take more than 12 minutes, um, it's okay. I can assure you that if you do like I'm doing, if you're not recording, you're doing a consistent 12 minute runs. It's not a big deal. It's important if you have 10 minutes uh, on the mark. Okay, that was uh, pretty stupid. I think we can... Uh... Come on, daddy. Oh wow, backstabs. The backstabs are nasty. Wish we would have a mana potion here. He still has like... Let's, let's just guide him so we can regenerate some mana. It's no... We'll catch him up. This is a long corridor. We just need like uh, 600 mana to kill him. I could... Uh, I don't have a mana gem. We can do this, then we can do this, and then we can finish up here. And one him down. Oh. Perfect. And the ghost mushroom should be right there. So the way you get this, make sure you don't get aggro. Come here on the ledge. You jump on the ledge. And you stay a bit on the outer side of the ledge, like right here, you see? This is the safe spot. And then you can reset safely. It takes an extra one or two minutes, depends. You can sometimes skip the mob. If he patrols, he patrols all the way to here. If you're there and wait for him, you can just don't have to fight him. But well, if you fight him, you get like a chance to get a Libram of Focus, which will boost your gold power by a lot. The demons can drop the Librams of Focus. And here we are in uh, our last run, our fifth run. Um, we already made more than 100 gold uh, per hour because of the Libram, but I was specifically showing 100 gold per hour um, without the Libram. That includes uh, the raw silver, the vendor, and the selling of the herbs to the auction house. It does feel like this was not such a lucky run, but um, they sh usually look like that on the bag. But to be honest, all the time I made 100 gold. Like only two runs were exactly sh sharp 100 gold. And the rest of them were 110, 120, and I even have two runs with 131 gold per hour, which is insane. Insane. As you see, I went uh, close to that pod. So I could open a, another one. Oh, that's interesting. None of them resisted. So I'm just going to go and jump. And beautiful. You guys want to see what I get? Another blind weed. 
Sometimes uh, you can pull like three packs of mobs and get like literally almost nothing from the pack. Oh, we forgot the timer again, but uh, you guys uh, probably trust me. It can be 12 minutes per run right now. We get a lot of hearts of the wild and uh, nothing really interesting on this pack. So this is it. This is the dreamfall finally that uh, I was talking about that uh, it's hard to pick. So the way I do it. L. That didn't work out. The lash uh, resisted, but happens only one in a lifetime. Once in a lifetime. After I pick the Dreamfoil, I slow him down and I try to get away. There's this back here, so I'm gonna wait a bit. I will probably wait to slow him again. Then I'm gonna blink away. Normally that back shouldn't be there, but that's okay. So I come here, I jump on this ledge, and I wait for him to reset. Once he runs away, then I can jump down and kill the Lashers. And we have a book spawn there, do you see it? A dusty tome right there. We're gonna pick it up that we kill this pack of Lashers. And there we go, it resetted. I run away. Sweet. If we get a force, uh, it's gonna be insane. Usually I get lucky when I film. Like, I've done this for 10 hours uh, before uh, I started uh, filming this. And I didn't get, like, a Librem, but yet again, here I am with the Librem of Focus. Let's try to snatch that um, Dusty Tome. It's full of Pocket Link. Now, this one is a 57, so I can get closer. But if it's a 58 mob, you want a Shutter Step until you get in the range to open it. If you aggro, you go Reset. So it's the Emerald Dream, a druid book. Uh, none of the blue books um, are valuable on my server right now. None of them, literally none. That's not nice, I guess. So we have here an opportunity to pull the mobs as soon as those uh, stompers go away. So I'm going to pull that pack, that pack that one and I'm gonna blink here we put oh now this is gonna be painful I would say painful at the best I'm gonna try to see if I can push this off if I die well it's not my fault Purple Lotus. I think I want to pick this uh, Grom's Blood too. Not in my way. Pick. Meanwhile, I can drink. Get ready for the next pull. I guess if uh, you're a caster, like those um, demonic runes are pretty useful. However, if you're a priest, you cannot really kill the demons. But it should be still like uh, 60 to 80 gold per hour as a priest. Lashers plus herbalism. So that's a plus. There's the dream foil. So we didn't get the full stack of Dreamfoil, we got 18, it's one of the lowest one. I got, I got 19, I got 22, I got 24. I guess it's RNG. Maybe we get more to drop from the Lashers. Yeah, sometimes you get to drop from the Lashers like 3, 4, 5, even 6 and 5 runs. Um, now, that Grom's Blood, I never pick it because I have to reset those two mobs. But if you feel like uh, you have time and you want to do it, uh, go ahead. I think Grom's Blood will go higher in price uh, with Blackwing Lair. It already started to go high in price. It was almost a dead market. Suddenly, out of nowhere, they sell for 5 to 6 gold. Um, oh, backstabs. Did you see that? That's the sound of a backstab. And here we use the first potion for tonight. 
I was not really required to use one. I could have used the shield like this and uh, not even take any more damage. But uh, why risk it? An 8 silver potion. Hey, we got a ghost mushroom. We're sitting on ghost mushrooms. Six ghost mushrooms so far. Which is pretty nice. Hydraulic armor. Oh yeah, you will get like a lot of uh, blue drops. Like hydraulic armor, bone snapper, uh, axe of ringy. They tend to drop a lot here. I got last night Julie's Dagger, which is on the auction house. Um, not sure if it's gonna sell. It's a 1.3 dagger. 1.3 speed. And so far, so good. We started the grind at uh, 23,422 gold. And now we have 23,430. We're going to make like two more gold from uh, from this uh, last demon pool. Which will make us, uh, as usual, 10 gold raw silver per hour from the drops. Shatter of working wonders again. There's no ghost mush here, but I think there will be at the end of the, this room. I'm so sad. Oh, we have a chest. Ah, it's a locked one again. That's the position of the chest. Lucky with the chests this run, and the chest here can contain like good stuff. Like I got a couple of travelers backpacks so far. I got like uh, you can get rare recipes and always a green. Like there's 100% of a green there. Either if it's a recipe or an item or a two-handed weapon. Or... Of course, we got the ghost mushroom there. I'm gonna go first for it. Sometimes there's a, a guard next to it, so make sure you pay attention, or the patrol can come back. Right now there's none. Oh, it's... Is that a mushroom up there too? I think if there's a mushroom up there. The most I got mushrooms I think were 10 in one, in, in one hour. Maybe there's a mushroom there. Okay, let's do the last pull. As usual. And we're gonna go do the math for the gold per hour. Okay. Walk until I almost get hit by one. I got hit by two, which is not good. Boggling, ice block, and um, I hate it when they go around you, but this is when the boggling helps. If you don't have one, you want to get out of the ice block as soon as possible. See here, I even took a bit of damage. So we're gonna do this, and we're gonna try to burst them down now faster. You know? So the way you do it, you stay quite close to them and you do a couple of uh, arcane explosions. I'm gonna pop my mana gem. I am going to keep them slowed. I'm going to drop one, two more. Now I am going to keep them slowed. Once I have four seconds, I'm going to do the combo again. Getting some mana back, doing some insane damage here. And I think um, I think we have to stop because, oh no, we pulled a pack of flashers. So. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to try to Should kill them. We do have mana to finish them up, but to be honest, I want to be perfectly confident here. And there we have it. That Sometimes that pack of lashers spawns from here. You should never panic. They, they can always be incorporated into the pool. 
just think. Think whenever you're... Uh... You see, now they start to drop uh, like grace. We got three great grays in a row. Like one sword that sells for 188 uh, gold. We got uh, one staff that sells for 120 gold. And we got the shield that sells for 70. So sometimes they drop it like crazy. Like those... Uh, those grays, they drop it like... Some runs you have like a full bag. I guess this is it. This is our fifth run. Uh, I'm going to open these pods because we're still in 10 minutes. And, um, call it a day. Wish the, I wish that chest was uh, not locked. Let's go uh, vendor everything. I'm quite excited to see if we still make 100 gold per hour after 9 hours. And I think we do. Hey, stop it. Open this one. <clears throat> and beautiful. I have three stacks of... Um, five runs. One hour. An average of 12 minutes a run. It takes two more minutes for me to reset from the rogue but also when i'm going on the rogue i'm trying to mine a rich thorium or pick a flower in between if you have a second account it's sharp one hour or if you ask someone to reset the dungeon for you so uh we started this one um at 422 gold we made exactly 11 gold raw However, we got only three stacks of rune cloth. Sometimes you get five in one hour. Sometimes you get three. So I said the RNG is pretty crazy. Maybe I forgot to loot all the demons. Hmm, maybe, maybe not. Let's go for the calculator. So, um, yeah, start by vendoring, uh, 3 gold from the serrated petals, 7 gold from the lasher root, 6 gold from the tawny wines, um, a recipe which has probably no significant value, live roots, all the cheap herbs, you can destroy them if you want to stay for 2 hours. Um, I think I, we should not sell the golden sand sam, but I'm gonna destroy the book, like, it's not valued with anything, keeping the purple lotus, uh, Selling the hearts of the wild. Uh, more lasher roots, of course. These I'm keeping them. Hearts of the wild, crumbs, floods. Now, the hydraulic armor, you can sell it on the auction house. I'm just kind of vendor it for the purpose of this video. Uh, you can disenchant some of these, but uh, to be honest, I'm gonna keep this one for disenchant. That one is two gold. The grays here, all of them. And. Um, I think that's everything I want to sell. I'm gonna keep everything else from here. So, um, doing the math 67 minus 22 when we started equals with 45 gold per hour with the raw silver from the demons, the drop, plus everything we vendored. And then we go to the dream foil, which sells for 90 silver right now. We have uh, exactly 16 golds worth of Dreamfall, plus uh, 16. We have uh, 5 gold uh, worth of Grom's Blood, plus uh, 5. Plus, uh, gold mar Ghost Mushrooms are 120 a stack, so 7 would be like 9 gold, plus 9. Plus, um, Winter's Bite, it's 1 gold 50 with a Swift Distal, let's say 2 gold, plus... Um, Gold tone with fire bloom and stungle kept let's say another one gold maybe it's more but you get the point um sungrass one gold blind weed uh, that's two gold fade leaf one gold 50 let's say four gold all together plus um one gold from the bracers is a plus um 1.5 gia stack for the rune cloth so plus four gold plus um uh, 2 gold for each uh, rune tune tuber. That's uh, plus uh, 6 gold. It's 10 silver a pop, 20 a stack, yeah, plus 6 gold. Plus, uh, of course, the fell plots, uh, which are 1 gold, 20 a pop. 
um, seven of them should be one gold 25 seven of them should be around um, nine gold plus it's a hundred two already and we also got like the Librem of Focus, which I can sell it for probably 80 gold right now. And that's about the average price uh, on Farlina. So we have 102. This is one of the lower end. I'm trying to tell you that this is the lower end because we didn't get enough like rune clots. We didn't get a lot, uh, enough grays and greens. And if we take if we take the Librem out, which is uh, plus 80 equals 182 gold. This is exactly one hour of grind, and I can prove it to you that on my server the prices are uh, the ones that I'm talking about. Um, if you try to post the dream foil, as you can see, they're 90 silver plus. I can even sell them for one gold. So instead of 16 gold, this would have been 18 gold. If we take the fade leaf, they're 75 silver a pop. I took the fade leaf for about one gold. So I'm actually diminishing the value by doing that. The blind weed. It's usually 40, but you can sell them literally for 50. They sell like, they're almost non listed here. Spell plots 125. Uh, sometimes you can sell them for two if you have patience, if you know when to list them. Uh, but you can sell them for 150. So I'm undermining the price again. Fire Bloom, uh, not that valuable right now, but I, I recommend saving them. Ghost Mushrooms right now are at 96, but they're not that many. I usually sell them at 120 all the time. Uh, Grum's Blood, uh, 27 silver. I calculated them at five, uh, at 25 silver each, but they will go higher in price at 35. I have evenings when I sell them at 35, right before the raid and so on. Uh, Librams of Focus right now, it's 50 to 60, but if you wait uh, until Blackwing Lair, you'll sell them for 90. I sold a couple of them for 90. Once uh, all of them sell, um, what else did we get here? Rune cloth on my server is quite expensive. Last night I sold even for 11 silver. Um, let me check the price right now. Right now it's not the time to sell them. It's 1.6 gold a stack. But if I wait in the evening, I can sell them for uh, 10 silver a pop. Also, we have a strangled kelp, which goes for about 20, 25 silver. And the rune tune tuber surprise, they're about 10 silver a pop. Right now they're more listed, but in the evening you sell them for 10 silver. But the best case scenario with the, the tubers is to make like the rune tune surprise. So the rune tune tuber surprise, which actually sell for 5G a stack. I sell them on my alt. So basically 20 of them, it's actually more like 5G, not 2G as I did the map. So it would be 15G, making it even more. Um, that's about it. And um, to prove you that I've done this successfully for the past... Um, past 10 hours and you can join my stream and check all, all of the VODs and um, see exactly how much I made. Uh, I sent, I kept my herbs on the bag. So these are the ghost mushroom, uh, the, the green foils, one, two, three, four. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. I did 12 hours so far of this consistent. And you can see like the, the herbs. I even sent like the Grom's Bloods and some other herbs to, to my alts because I don't have sp spots in banks anymore. Um, but that's okay. This is beautiful. Uh, this is beautiful. Like it's one of the best grinds that you can do right now. And uh, I would recommend uh, you try to. Why the hell not? Uh, make some extra bucks. Because it's totally worth it. I think this is it guys, um, I think you learned something new, for the next uh, hour with Frost episode we're gonna do like Zulfarak, as people keep coming on my stream and say, Frost is DM nerfed, it's Zulfarak nerfed, no they're not nerfed, you just um, get probably unlucky with RNG or something like that. So I wanna end up with this, 100 plus gold per hour, with the prices um, that are right now, and it's speculated that prices will go even higher with Blackwing Lair. 120 gold per hour, 130, 108, and only three times I made sharp 100. Most of them were between 110 and 120. I wish you luck if you do this grind, and um, let me know what you think in the comments down below.